Hi everybody, I'm Johanna Varner. And I'm Patrice Connors. We are both faculty at Colorado Mesa University. And we're here today to introduce you to the SquirrelNet Behavioral Observations module that you'll be taking part in. Uh, we're uh, two of the nine mammologists that started SquirrelNet. We uh, are studying small mammals and we work at institutions and uh, universities across the United States. Um, and we were interested in putting together this module um, to do more activities with small mammals. So squirrels are a really great opportunity for you to conduct original behavioral research. They're diurnal, which means that they're active during the day, and they're found just about everywhere. You can do this research from your own backyard, you can do this research from the park down the street, or even on many college campuses if you're able to go to school. So the goals of this activity are, first and foremost, for you to go out and collect behavioral data from squirrels that are, live near you, as well as for you to develop your own hypotheses about the behavior of these squirrels. Then you can test your hypotheses using our national data set, which includes not only your own observations that you'll contribute, but also data collected by students across the entire country. And there's a wide range of questions that you'll be able to ask from this data, uh, ranging from differences in activity levels in our different squirrel species, to trade-offs of behaviors like foraging or vigilance that we might see um, across different habitat types. So one way that this activity may be different from different kinds of labs that you participated in in the past is that we don't actually know the answers. So we don't know what you're going to find. Um, that's really cool because it means that the data that you contribute will actually be contributing to new discoveries. And for this reason, it is very important that you follow the protocols and the directions in those protocols very closely. So you should have received a set of written protocols from your instructor and we encourage you to read those very carefully. Um, if you want to learn more about this project and about SquirrelNet, you should also visit our website, squirrelnet.org. Um, there's a place for, for you to check out all the other things that we squirrel nuts are up to. So we look forward to seeing your data added to the database very soon. Have fun and go nuts!